In this video, we're going to take a look at how to solve two-step equations. So before, we've learned how to solve one-step equations, um, equations that require only one operation in order to solve. In this video, we're going to look at two-step equations, which are equations that take two steps to solve. So the steps are, first of all, we're going to do any addition or subtraction that we need to do. And then the second step will be to multiply or divide. For the second step, for multiplying and dividing, we're going to be down to basically a one-step equation. So if, for example, I gave you something like 3x minus 2 is equal to 10, my first part will be to add or subtract. I basically need to think about this as like what minus 2 is equal to 10. Well, that box will then have to equal 12. Because what minus 2, it has to be 12 minus 2 equals 10. So I can show that concretely in the fact that I'm going to add 2 to both sides. I can kind of separate them out. I have to add 2 to both sides. 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. And that here, this negative 2 plus 2 cancels out to 0. So then I have the box, or 3x is equal to 12. If 3 times x is equal to 12, then I need to divide by 3, and I get the answer of x is equal to 4. So this will be pretty much the steps all the time, that I'm going to add or subtract first, followed by multiplying or dividing. Let's do another Let's do negative 5x plus 2 is equal to negative 23. I'm going to do the same type of thing. What plus 2 is equal to negative 23? I can show the steps of subtracting 2 from both sides. Keeping in mind, I always want to add or subtract first, okay, in order to get the x by itself. Positive 2 minus 2 cancels out. So I'm left with negative 5x is going to equal negative 25. At this point, I have negative 5x times x, so I'm going to divide by negative 5. So basically divide by what's in front, divide by negative 5. So x will equal negative 25 divided by negative 5, which is going to be positive 5. Be careful with the negatives, particularly in the situation if I gave you something like 2 minus 3x is equal to, I don't know, let's say 12. I still need to subtract the 2. Because I need to think about as 2 minus what would equal 12. In this case, I'm going to have negative 3x. I need to bring down the subtraction sign as a negative with the 3x. The 2 minus 2 will cancel. So negative 3x is equal to 10. And then I'm going to divide by th negative 3. So I get x is going to equal negative 10 thirds which I'm okay with you beginning to leave stuff as an improper fraction or I can change into a mixed number negative 2 and sorry negative 3 if I can divide correctly negative 3 and 1 -third. but what you'll notice is that no matter how, how the problem works I'm always going to add or subtract first and then multiply or divide so always keep in tra track you're almost doing the reverse of the order of operations so where addition and subtraction is my last step, if I want to undo something, then I need to start with the addition and subtraction followed by the multiplication division.